YouTube was good at your boy Big Blends. Today I'm about to teach y'all how to cut your own hair. Alright, step one to cutting your own hair, you gotta make sure you take your socks off. Because your feet gonna get itchy. So step one, make sure you ain't got no socks. Alright, step two, you gotta make sure you cape up. When you cut your own hair, you gotta cape on backwards. So throw this on the back like that. Take my next strip still. Tie everything forward. Make it just a little knot. And now you're ready to go. Alright, so the haircut I'm about to give myself is gonna be a number two on top with the high skin fade. So of course I'm gonna start with the number two guard. I'm gonna start lever all the way open. I'm gonna see how I look. I might go down all the way closed, but lever all the way open is gonna cut less hair than all the way closed. So if you want a long number two, that's lever all the way open. You want that closed number two, lever all the way closed. So I'm gonna start open, I'm gonna go ahead and knock the hair down, and then I'm gonna jump into the fade. All right, so I do got a three-way mirror, and it makes it a lot easier for me to cut my own hair. But if you don't have a three-way mirror, don't worry about it. You can still just use one extra mirror. All you would do is stand in your first mirror, your big mirror, and you would cut your hair down. And then when you need to get to the back, you would take your handheld mirror, kind of prop up against it, and then you would use that to go side by side and then take your hand and fade it back in your head. Alright, so we're gonna go long number two, lever all the way open, and we're gonna go ahead and knock down all the bulk on top. Alright, so you gotta make sure you go over your hair a bunch of times to make sure it's gonna be even. Because even after I go through a couple times, I'm looking at the mirror, I'm looking at the light on top, and I see a bunch of hair still sticking up. You wanna make sure it's as even as you can get it. So take your time. Details matter when you're doing a haircut. Alright, so once you go ahead and knock down all the bulk in the top of your head, you're gonna go ahead and set your guideline in for your fade now. I'm gonna use this trimmer right here. This trimmer doesn't cut that close to the skin, so I like to use it to remove all that bulk on my head and set the first guideline in. So I'm gonna do a high fade. A high fade means I'm not gonna have none of this C cup right here. I don't like to have my, my sideburns to a point. I don't like having them at all, so I like for my fade to be all the way faded out. So I'll start from the front. I'll make the first guideline right there at that box. I'm gonna follow that through all the way across. So then I'm gonna adjust my mirror a little bit so I can see it on the other side. I'm gonna go through all the way to the back. This guideline's gonna be pretty straight all the way across. So I'm gonna go about halfway to the back. And then I'm gonna start from the front again. I'm make sure these points are even. get tricky in the mirror sometimes. Fall through all the way across. So once you got your guideline, put it in all the way across your head. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove all this extra hair on the bottom. Make sure I get it nice and even. Remember details matter, make sure you get your skin nice and smooth. All right, so the trimmer I'm using now just cuts a little bit closer than the one I had before. So I'm gonna smooth it out a little bit closer to my skin. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Alright, so the next step to my skin fade is gonna be my lever all the way open, and I got no guard on there right now. So I'm gonna go up about an inch right there to give myself a guideline, 
and that'll be the first step. So, we look at the bear straight on. We go left all the way open, we go up about an inch. So I'm just going side by side, make sure I take my time. So I'm not that good with cutting with my left hand. So I kind of just stretch out my arm with my right hand. To me, it just makes it a lot more easier like that. I know some people that cut their own hair, they switch between left hand and right hand. I can't do that. It, may, it feels way more comfortable for me just to stretch over. I don't want to get too confused. Sometimes it can be super, super confusing and you can get lost in the sauce, paying too much attention to the mirror. So I don't want to make it harder by trying to go with my less dominant hand. I'm just going over my guideline, making sure it's nice and even. And when I get to the back of my head, I like to stretch it out a little bit more. Now I'm going to remove the bottom line. So I'm going to go ahead and close the clipper up all the way. And I'm gonna start by edging up on that line. And then we're gonna slowly open the lever. And as we open the lever, it's gonna cut less hair. And that'll create the fade as we're going up from the bottom of this line to the top of it right there. So start it all the way closed. Tapping the bottom like that. Open it up a little bit. I'm gonna keep working my way up line is starting to disappear already staying nice and low I'm not going up too high and remember every time that you open your lever up a little bit more you got to go up high with your clipper so looking at that line back there slowly fading it out Make sure I detail that line. Make sure you brush through. Always keep a brush on your hand if you're gonna be cutting. You wanna brush through, make sure you can see everything you gotta work with. So we'll go side by side, and I'm gonna start working on this side. Alright, so the next guard we're going to use is the number one guard, and now I'm going to use the number one guard all the way closed, and I'm going to start edging my way up on this bottom line right here, and I'm going to slowly open it up, start to raise the number one up to about right here on my head, and then from that area right there, we'll blend it to the top. So now I'm going to use that number one, and you can see this one, and now you can see that it cuts less hair, so it's starting to create that fade for me. Start working my way up, slowly open that lever. Take a brush through. I'm brush through, make sure I'm not missing any spots. So now I got the number one and a half guard. I'm gonna use that number one and a half to really blend out this top piece right here to help it look even into the top of my head. My focus is all the cross right here on top of that number one guard. Now I'm going to use the .5 guard, which is the small half guard, and I'm going to use that guard to help me blend out this last bottom line that I got. So I'm going to start all the way close with that half guard. I'm going to start tapping the bottom. Shake brush down. Open it up a little bit, I'm gonna go a little bit higher. And as you go more open with the lever, you start raising the clipper up a little bit more, you're slowly gonna start to see that line start to disappear. Don't rush it, just take your time, watch for the details. Now I got the clipper with no guard on it, and I'm kind of just using the corners of my blade. And when I say I'm using the corners, I'm only gonna use about the last three to four teeth on my clipper, 
And I'm gonna use that to kind of edge out some dark spots that I see. But this is really just detailing the fade now. All right, now we're gonna move on to my lineup. I'm gonna tell you guys this because I don't have the same lineup as a lot of y'all out there, so your hair is gonna be totally different. But the best thing I can tell you if you're gonna line your own hair up is that less is more. Don't try to do too much when you line yourself up. Remember, it's a self cut, you ain't getting cut by another barber, so of course it's not gonna be picture perfect, but I promise you, I messed myself up plenty of times trying to do too much to my hairline by myself. I'd rather give myself a medium, pretty straight, okay hairline than to try to go super into it, get it too detailed, and then now I'm pushing my corners back and I'm pushing my line all messed up, but just don't do too much if you're gonna line yourself up, give it a little tap and go, keep it clean, keep it simple. All right, so to use a razor on myself, and we're just gonna flip it upside down. We're gonna always use tension on the skin, so I'm gonna pull the skin down, and I'm gonna go up. So I'm working the opposites. I never pull the skin up and then try to go up into it. Always pull down, because you need that tension. All right, now to finish off my haircut, I'm gonna go ahead and use my box shaver. This is gonna give me that super smooth ball finish on the bottom of my fade. So I'm gonna use that to clean up the very bottom of it, and then we're gonna be done. So I'm very light when I use this. I'm just doing very light touches. All right, I'm waiting for the day I can grow a beard. That's all I have for now, but I'm gonna have to part ways with it. Shout out to all the beardless kings out there. Stay strong. Our day is coming. All right, and that's gonna wrap up the self-cut high fade. Hope y'all enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can come out looking like your boy if you feel like it.